Hello everyone, I am NinjaONC and welcome to another video. This video is going to be a bit of a different video from my normal ones on the channel, as it's a sort of guide, I guess, to try and help you get some of the hardest trophies in Ratchet & Clank for PS4. It's a sort of, I suppose, part two to the video I uploaded last week, which was a countdown of the five hardest trophies in the game. You can sort of see the link there, right? I, I really hope so. I really hope you can. And if you haven't seen that video yet, you might want to check it out. Then, because uh, it does link to this video, maybe you'll think, "Oh, I can relate to the suffering these people have gone through," or maybe you'll just be able to sit back and laugh at all of the scrubs who found it hard to do something you did in ten seconds. Anyway, if you're looking for a certain trophy, check down in the description or up. We've had this discussion before, I'm not going to go over it again. For the timestamps, assuming they're covered in this guide. Easy trophies like Lazy Lombax, where you just stand on a conveyor belt, and story-based missions aren't included because they don't really need a guide. Uh, so, yeah, let's get into it. Just before we start, these trophies will be significantly easier if you collect the gold bolts for the cheats. This requires the O2 mask, and doing this grants you a trophy. Woohoo! I also recommend obtaining the Rhino and potentially its upgraded version. Finding the Rhino cards and the Gold Bolt is actually made significantly easier if you obtain the Mapomatic from Kalibo 3 first. It's one of the la it's the last planet you unlock in the game, so I recommend you get the Mapomatic at the end of your normal mode run, because then you've got it for your entire challenge mode run. Getting the Mapomatic is going to contribute towards the Tech Head trophy. So there's, there's your second trophy of the squad already, woohoo, and we're only about two minutes in. Mm. The Mapomatic is also going to greatly help you with collecting the Telepathobus brains for the trophy Abbey Normal. So, there you go. Death by Disco was decided to be the hardest trophy in the game, mainly because of just how annoying it is and easy it is to miss stuff. And the only advice I can really offer for this one is to play it carefully, make sure to use the Groovatron more than you need to just to make sure you don't miss anything and keep a list with you of all of the individual of all of the unique things you have to fight in the first place you find them i'll actually leave a link down in the description to a, to the list i used when i was doing this it's a really great resource definitely recommend you check it out similarly there's no amazing tactic to obtaining the i hate lamp trophy i just recommend walking through a lero city and looking out for lamps go from the start to where the train is it's it's pretty obvious if you want, you can pay attention in the clip in the background uh, where I find all of the lamps that you actually need to go around and break, but yeah. Etu Copernicus, despite being on the list of hardest trophies, isn't actually really a hard trophy if you know what you're doing, because it is just hard if you don't actually know where to go. So just head to the uh, location shown in the clip in the background here on the Deplanetizer the second time you access it. Equip the hollow guys and then wave at the door to unlock your trophy. Uh, you should hear a, a message about Captain Quark being amazing or something like that, and then yeah, you'll get your trophy. The trophy When Sheep Fly, where you have to use a sheepinator or goatinator on one of the black helicopter pilot people, is actually very easy if you turn on invincibility from the gold bolt cheat, as you can just stand there and turn him into a sheep rather than trying to jump around and avoid all the all the gunfire and stuff but be careful as there are only a few chances to obtain this trophy per playthrough since once you kill the helicopter pilot if you then go and complete the mission that you pass him in he they actually won't respawn so be very careful that's similar to the, the groovinator groovinator groovatron this is where things start to get quite interesting really you can actually complete or at least get the currency to complete up to six trophies at once using one single glitch. If you watch the clip in the background, you can see what to do. Um, so I'm just going to let that play while I'm just uh, talking about this. But this is where the Rhino and the infinite health from the gold bolts that I mentioned earlier comes into play. You actually use an out of bounds glitch, as you can see, but it can only be done before you save the mayor. So a new run may be necessary for this, or if you've only just started your challenge mode run then maybe now is your chance to do it. It can be kind of awkward at first and you do need to hold uh, L1 to do the strafe jump thing to get in between the gap but once you're in there just let go of that and try and get onto the top. 
When you succeed getting onto the top, make sure to try and stick as closely to the route I took as possible because some areas of the ground aren't actually solid and you'll fall down and you won't be able to get out, you just have to jump off and kill yourself, you just jump into the abyss. Which weirdly enough, some of it's actually invisible water. Uh, I actually did fall down quite a few times in clips that you don't see, so it might take you a few attempts, but once you get there you can stay there for as long as you want. When you do get to the end of the grassy area, you'll see a dropship. It might take 20-30 seconds to respawn, but as soon as you see it, you just need to sit there and keep shooting at it with your Rhino. Any other gun does work, but it's not as effective. The Rhino, upgraded if you can, is definitely the best. Uh, because although it takes 20-30 seconds to respawn, when you destroy it, it actually respawns instantly. And it gives you all of the XP, all of the raritanium, and all of the bolts of a standard Blarg dropship. If you do it on the fast play thing, um, you get about 750,000 bolts per minute, 100 raritanium per minute, and a lot of the hollow cards per minute. Assuming you don't turn invincibility on for this one, you will also get loads of XP towards the Mr. Fancy Pants trophy for getting the max health because if you turn invincibility on you actually don't get XP for health. So by doing this, you can get enough bolts for full weapon rack, which is going to help, and it's going to help you get Master of War, because you're going to be able to buy the upgraded versions of the weapons. You'll get more than enough raritanium for the these go to 11. You should get all of the cards you need for the uh, Master Collector, I believe it's called, the trophy for getting all of the, all the cards. You're going to hit the maximum bolt multiplier for just destroying so many. And yeah, you're just going to get so many trophies for doing this one thing. One thing I would say though, if you're on a standard PS4 rather than a PS4 Pro, it might not be worth playing on fast, or at least if you are playing on fast, every so often you might have to slow down and not hold down fire, because it does put a big strain on your console. And it, I did actually crash my PS4 the first time I tried it. So as I said, you can prevent this by taking short breaks, slowing down, playing on the slow or normal speed, and or if you're on a PS4 Pro, it may just be able to handle the full speed. So that's how you get a load of the trophies, including one of the ones that we established was one of the highest trophies in the previous video. One of the other trophies that I mentioned in my previous video was faster than a speeding amoeboid, where you have to beat the gold hoverboard race on Rilgar in under a minute and 35 seconds. This trophy is very similar to the Kalibo Thunder trophy, where you have to finish the gold Kalibo 3 hoverboard race in 2 minutes and 5 seconds. It's also kind of difficult, but it's nowhere near as hard as the Rilgar race, but you can actually easily get these trophies with a simple exploit. You should be able to see me doing this in the background, but all you actually have to do is get onto the final lap of the race, before that time limit, so before 1 minute 35 for Rilgar and before 2 minutes and 5 seconds for Kalibo, and as long as one of the NPCs hasn't crossed the finish line, which they shouldn't have by that point, you can actually just quit the race. You will get the cutscene animation thing where it says, ah oh, sorry, better luck next time, but you'll actually somehow get the trophy, so you actually don't even have to finish the race. Just to, just to recap that, you have to get onto the final lap with time left and then you just quit the race and then you get your trophies. This doesn't get you the trophy for winning both gold races, but that's not as hard because you're not, you don't have such a big time limit. It's, a, it's easier to get to the final lap fast enough and to win both races for, for to get all three trophies if you have unlocked and activated invincibility as the explosive blocks can't actually hurt you so if then you don't have to avoid them you can just bomb it straight down and yeah you're less likely to die which means you don't slow down as much etc uh, etc et so that's basically the easy way to get all of the trophies well I say all the trophies all of the hard trophies that you might need help with all of the other trophies I didn't mention you either get for finishing the game or they're just really simple ones, like get eaten by a pool shark. It's actually telling you to, to be bad at the game, essentially. And I really hope that you found this helpful. 
even if you only needed one of these things, and I'd definitely appreciate it if you went and checked out the previous video where we counted down the top 5 hardest ones, um, and it would be even more appreciated if you actually went and looked at the other videos on this channel, um, maybe subscribe to this YouTube channel, maybe turn the little bell that every single YouTuber keeps ringing on about, eh? No pun intended. Mm. Uh, oh my god, I need to stop. Um, yeah. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, the video is getting quite long now, I didn't really want it to get past 10 minutes, but it has done, so thank you all for watching, I've said that several times now, but I will see you in another video, peace.